Welcome back. This week we're going to do an egg sucking leech. It's just a single hook streamer pattern, pretty quick, pretty simple. Um, the little one here has just been running all over the place. Cam's been having a blast entertaining herself with the uh, deer antler. She's running all across the thing. Speaking of, now oh, what do you got now? Santa Claus hat, huh? Go get it. Non-stop entertainment with that one. If you're wondering why something seems off a little bit this week, it's because I was forced to change hats. My trusty Gallup slide-in burnt orange hat of three years that took me so long to perfect where it just fits my hat perfect fell victim to the little brown dog. So, yeah. Still not sure how I feel about that one. That's all right. I'm forced to wear my fancy out on the town hat now for videos and everything, fishing. Just, everything feels awkward since it happened. My life's not quite right yet, but I'll adjust. I won't like it, but I'll adjust. Me and the dog are going to have a good talk, too. That's all right. Things happen. What am I looking for here? All right, enough of me ranting about my hat that's never coming back. I just have to spend three years on this one before it fits right. So to start on this one with the egg second leech, this is a very popular pattern. It's a it, it's a pattern that's been around for for a long time. Um, new materials come about. Uh, there are plenty of different ways that you can do this one. If you want to do it, no, ah. knock it off, knock it off, go, get out of here, get, go entertain yourself. If you want to do this one um, really quick and efficient, you could just throw a um, you are going to get on my nerves. Come here. Nope. If you want to do this one really quick and efficient and not have to worry about a material in the front, you can just go with a uh, bead head. You know, probably something along the lines orange, yellow, somewhere about that. Throw the bead head on top there and then just tie the remainder of the fly. But it's kind of tough to get the bead heads big enough, in my opinion, without it being looking like it's just out of place. So, we're going to go to the old school way and we're going to use some glow bug yarn for this. You can use chenille if you want to. It looks really good. It doesn't really give the, the round effect that I like on this one. There's some other patterns on this that I tie as well that, that I'll do uh, later on. But uh, for now, we're just going to go ahead and get into the work on the uh, classic egg sucking leech with the glow bug yarn. Everything looks pretty well centered up. To start on this one, I'm just going with gel spun 50. Kim, you are pushing your luck, sis. Get out of here. Go. We're just going to go with the gel spun 50 and I'm going to put a quick dam of thread down here. And then I'm going to do the, the egg yarn first on this. Um, you can do it last. I, I just like the way that the fly finishes and then I can get I don't have a ton of material to work around when I'm trying to put this glow bug yarn on at the end. So it's easier for me to do it this way and I think it looks a little cleaner. So I got just a mess here. Just a mess. Blame it on the hat. That's why I'm all out of sorts here. So just like when we did the glow bug or the egg pattern from a couple of weeks back and actually I want to move this over some there we go that should work out pretty good we're just taking strands of this glow bug yarn and we're gonna go work on the top we're gonna work on the bottom and then we're going to get some onto the sides here. 
that's going to get in my way. Just trim that out. Trim that out. Alright, so we're just working top and bottom on this. Now we're going to go to the sides and I need to hurry up while the dog's taking a little rest on the couch and maybe allow me to finish this video up in a somewhat timely manner. Alright, now we're going to take this as well and we're going to go right on the side. I'll work my way around this, just make sure that this is nice and secure. And then same thing on the other side. Get around there. There's the one. Get those about as even as possible. Um, if they're off just a little bit, it's not going to hurt much of anything. Alright. I like that. I'm going to call that good. Go ahead and whip finish. Now I'm going to take the bodkin here and I'm going to just fluff all of these fibers out. Kind of untangle this matted mess that the glow bug yarn comes in. And this way it'll make a little bit more circular of a pattern for you. Alright, just like before when we were trimming the glow bug, I'm just gonna. Now, uh, actually, on this one, I'm gonna peel everything up to the top. And I'm just gonna make a nice rounded half moon cut. Right down to the bottom. And there we go, there's the nice rounded egg section. And then just peel this stuff that you have down from the bottom, and you'll have just a little bit. And then just round that off, you're good to go. You can make some finer cuts if you would like. Just kind of get that overall shape down a little bit better. But as soon as it hits the water and you get one fish eat this thing, it's not going to look the same as what it does on the vise right now. So, look who's awake again. Look who's awake again, you little terrorist. Alright, you hang out there while I finish this up. All right. Next up, we're going to go with some brown marabou. I'm going to swap over from the gel spun 50. Ouch! Knock it off to the gel spun 100. See what I got to deal with. What do you think you're doing? Get down. Go. Go play. Like I was saying, back to the gel spun 100. Cam, you're making filming difficult. Here go. go find Knox. Go see what she's doing. I'm about it. Huh? Go see what Knox is doing. Alright, I feel. Oh, my. Top quality production this week. Top quality. Alright. Back to it. She has come out of her shell, needless to say. So, videos for the next, oh, I don't know, year to two, if Knox is any indication when she was a puppy, will be full of a little brown dog, I'm sure. So, like I was saying, Back to the pattern. I'm going to take a piece of brown marabou after I get the gel spun 100 on there. I'm going to measure this out. This is going to be the tail. And essentially all this is going to be is a bully bugger uh, the rest of the way forward. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit heavier. I'm not going to use a straight hackle. We're going to use a schloppen for... i keep that in for some taper. We're going to use schloppen for our hackle instead of, uh, instead of a neck feather. Just run that up to the front. I 
Um, I'm going to take two strands of copper holographic. I'm going to double these over, same as any tail. Then I tie here, same as any double marabou tail. I'm going to take the two strands, double them over, give me four on each side. I'm going to run this on the top third of the tail so it kind of cuts into the middle a little bit. And then, same thing, bring this over the top. Give this a quick trim. There we go, we've got our internal flash sitting there. Back to another marabou piece. Let's see if I can find one that I like here. That'll do. That'll do. Take the marabou, we're gonna tie this tail in. Knock it off. Done stealing the show? Get. Like I was saying, grab your second plume here and throw this on the top. I need to hurry up and get through this one because she's lurking again. Throw that on the top, get this nice and secured. Turning a 10 minute video into 45. Who the hell she thinks she is, me? There we go, our tail's secured, everything's good to go. Next thing, I'm going to take some brassy sized copper wire and on, that's the new spool here. I'm going to take the brassy sized copper, get out of here. You are driving me insane. I'm going to tie this wire in. Seriously. Knock it off. What is wrong with you today? She's never like this. Maybe it's because Knox is back here taking a nap. She can't get to her. Alright. Brassy sized copper wire. Throw this around. Get this secure. Now we're going to form a dubbing loop and we're going to throw in some copper. I thought a light was about to go down. I was like, yeah, that'd be about 
just about the perfect end of this video. I'd shut it down at that point. But that's all right. This has been mildly entertaining, I'm sure, for you guys watching me try and keep that thing off of me. I'm going to go with some copper ice dub. That's what I'm going to use for the body. We're just going to throw this in a quick loop. Most of the time when I do this pattern, it's in black. Um, but I figured we'd mix it up a little bit today, throw some different colors on here. There we go. Now we're just going to take this and we're going to run it right to the front after we throw this in our dubbing loop. And then just run that, like I said, right to the front and that's going to form the body, or the underbody I should say, of our pattern. We'll call that good. Still have our wire sitting off to the side, which is going to trap our slopping once we tie that in. Now what I want to do is just peel that egg section forward for now. So you can see how that that glow bug yarn, I just have this coming to the front and I have a little bit of extra space to tie in my slop in here and get my first two wraps as close to that as possible. Now I'm going to oversize this. I'm going to pick a pick a feather that's typically I would use on a you know, this is a size 6 hook. I would typically use this on She's ripping around in the background. I I typically use this on a 4 or bigger. But I want this to have some nice, nice motion to it, and I'm going to peel everything back. And I'm also going to get some of these really fuzzy fibers um, in my first two wraps on this. So I'm going to get this out of my way, set that off to the side. Now I'm going to tie in the schloppen and get that as close to the glow buck yarn as possible. Then I'm going to come in here and snip this excess that I have. And I'm going to half hitch. Now, I want this to be as close. And I'm just going to do these first two wraps by hand. Hopefully. I want to get that nice, that nice fuzzy fibers. There's nice really fuzzy fibers right there and I'm just going to take this back with the rotary there we go as you can see those fibers are a lot bigger than what you would typically use on this fly or this size of a hook mm -hmm. I'm going to beat you dog Stay down. No. Now we're just going to counter wrap all the way up to the front and go right behind. The glow bug material. patience with this one. Alright. So now, seeing as I trapped a little bit of material on this one, I'm 
just going to pick this stuff out with my bodkin. I got a little bit trapped in there when I counter wrapped this one, so I'm going to go through and pick this stuff out. The, the whole point of this is I want this, this body section to be as swimmy as possible. That way, you know, that's part of the reason that I go with the longer fibers. Um, I don't have any issues with it interfering with the hookups or anything like that. And then I'll just peel this back, kind of fluff that egg portion up again. And then I'm just going to do a quick half hitch right behind here. Tie that off. Call it good. I'll throw a little drop of glue on there to keep everything how I want it, but uh, do that after the fact. And then the very last thing that I'm going to do is touch this up with a little bit of yellow. That way I get rid of my white thread there. Touch the white thread up with some yellow, and we're good to go. Now you can see as this thing gets wet, all of this slopping is going to wind up peeling back, and it's going to form a really nice bulky body on this. I'll just wet my fingers a little bit to give you sort of an idea of what we'll be looking at. There we go. Now those fibers are going to mesh into the tail. Um, the egg portion's a little messed up right now, but uh, that's all right. Trim on that. Quick trim there. There we go. There it is. There's the quick, relatively quick, minus all the interruptions, which now she's acting like a little angel, of course. But there it is with a lot of camera involvement. There is the egg sucking leech in brown and copper. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, as always, leave them with me and I'll get back to you. But thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next fly.